and a very warm welcome. I am Ruchi Sharma. Leading virtual digital assets have scripted a strong comeback trail in the last 24 hours, gaining nearly 4% on an average driven by investor buying even as the US financial markets regulator. The Securities and Exchange Commission has delayed its decision on slew of spot bitcoins ETF applications. Analysts have maintained that the sector is buzzing on hopes of regulatory approval for Bitcoin ETF. IC15 index, the barometer of top 15 tokens, surged 4.3% to 47,791. US stock futures edged lower but remained relatively close to the flat line, following a positive close in the prior session. The Dow futures contract was mostly unchanged. S&P 500 futures shed 3 points or 0.1% and Nasdaq 100 futures lost 31 points or 0.2%. The main indices on Wall Street ended Wednesday in the green, fueled in part by the largest monthly drop in wholesale prices since 2020 in October. The US Senate has voted in favor of a stop gap plan that will likely avoid a partial government shutdown. That optimism has reflected an increased investor preference for risky assets such as crypto equities. The global crypto market cap is $1.43 trillion, a 4% increase over the last day. Bitcoin's dominance is currently 51.03%, an increase of 0.25% over the day. BTC added $3,000 in less than a day and tapped $38,000 once again in early hours. As of now, it sets about $700 away and its market capitalization has increased by about $30 billion to over $730 billion. In an interesting update, the South Korean pension fund National Pension Service bought nearly $20 million worth of coin-based shares in the third quarter. Local outlet News One reported citing the NPS latest stock holding report to the US Securities and Exchange Commission. Meanwhile, Arthur Hayes, a prominent figure in the crypto space, suggested a continuation of bullish trend for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. BTC was trading at $37,323, up 4.2% in the last 24 hours. Ether was trading at $2,042, up 2.8% in the similar time span. Binance BNB was trading at $252, up 2.8%. Cardano's ADA token rallied nearly 10% to $0.40. Ripple's XRP token was up 1.6% at $0.64. Solana SOL surged 9.6% at $65.4. Doge the popular meme coin zoomed 10% at $0.08. Shiba Inu was up by 6.8%. Polkadot rallied 6% to trade at $5.67. That's all in Coin Monitor for now. This is me, Ruchi Sharma, signing off. Do like, share, and subscribe to 3 TV. And for more information and stories, log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code. Auto TV stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with 3 Auto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. 3 Auto TV delivers the news that matters. China's largest board and card game company, Boya Interactive, plans to spend $100 million on purchasing cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum over the next 12 months. The Hong Kong listed company is part of a list of public companies seeking entry into the digital asset sector. The board of directors has crafted the initiative to acquire digital assets, which is currently pending shareholder approval. The board of directors is ensuring the $100 million fund is readily available and can reduce prior shareholder approval for each purchase. The approval will see a large selection of funds used for acquiring BTC and ETH, with $45 million allocated to the two largest cryptocurrency by market cap and $10 million used by BOA to purchase stablecoins like Tether and USD. This move follows a year-long crypto winter for the digital asset sector in 2022. 
Global X ETFs, a New York-based exchange-traded fund provider, has updated its filing for a spot Bitcoin ETF with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The updated filing reveals that the Global X Bitcoin Trust will trade on the CBOE BZX exchange and will track Bitcoin's performance, excluding the trust expenses and liabilities. The trust will invest directly in Bitcoin and its shares will be determined daily using the Coindex Bitcoin Price Index. Global X is sponsoring the trust but has named the Delaware Trust Company as its exclusive trustee. Coinbase will help safeguard the acquired Bitcoin on behalf of the firm. The amendment demonstrates Global X's readiness to comply with SEC regulation and position itself among applicants with increased approval chances. The number of addresses holding one Bitcoin or more reached its highest ever reading on May 13, with data from Glassnode showing an increase in wallets holding Bitcoins during flash crashes last year. From early February 2022 to May 2023, 190,000 addresses were added, despite Bitcoin's weakening price. This reflects a growing Bitcoin user base during events like the Terra Luna crash in May and the FTX collapse in November, which caused Bitcoin's price to plummet on the charts. This may have created an opportunity for investors to accumulate Bitcoin at lower prices, leading to a spike in the number of wallet addresses. However, 1 million addresses does not necessarily equate to 1 million users, as a wallet can be owned by a single person holding one BTC or managed by an institution or controlled by an individual with multiple wallet addresses. Major centralized exchanges like Coinbase and Binance manage 1.89 million Bitcoins or $50.7 billion of the total 19.3 million currently in circulation.